The other day, Kent Beck, the eminent, the old father of test-driven development himself, said this. He'd like a text editor that only allows transformations of the abstract syntax tree. For Lisps, Emacs is that editor. Paradit is a wonder. And a struggle. I had a really hard time adjusting. And I quit several times. It took this quote from Technomancy to guilt me into working through the pain. <laughs> What made me finally understand Paradit is realizing it is about treating the code not as text to be inserted and erased, but as a tree to be manipulated. Let's look at some cool stuff it can do. Saving excursion is a favorite pastime for Emacs Lisp hackers. Let's wrap these three functions. Notice how it wraps around the first S expression and those next two. Slurp them in! And barf him out again. Slurping and barfing. Beautiful. How can you not like it? Okay, ne next example. Let's say just one of these predicates will do. I can raise it up. Oh, look again. Raising replaces the entire parent with a child. So if I erase this, those other statements are gone. Instead I use splice as expression killing backwards breaking out of the conditional. Very handy. Next. I have a conditional around the let statement. Let's say I need v and x in one of the predicates. So I need let first and then the when. Convolutes s expression to the rescue. Ha! Ah, anytime I found a use for that, I feel like a king. Next, next example. Control K usually kills to the end of the line. Paradit tries to keep your abstract syntax tree valid at all time, so it keeps the end paren. If I kill from inside the string, it keeps everything in order. This context aware killing is something I got used to really quickly. Now I want it everywhere. If I kill here, it removes the entire thing. And Paradit trying to maintain the validity also holds when I add a quote inside this string. It's escaped. If what I want is two strings, I use split s expression instead. I can split the string, split the s expression. Pretty nice. Next up, some closure code. I had thought you had to have one require statement per import. You don't. Let's fix it. First, here's join. Unsurprisingly, it's the opposite of split. Okay, here we go. Multiple cursors, join these, kill the symbol, indent, done. Cool. That was episode 14. Hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter. And thanks for watching.